Hello everyone. So in this video, we will discuss about the question number forty-four of Gate two thousand twenty. So the question is asking here that E. coli was grown in fifteen N medium for several generation. Cells were then transferred to fourteen N medium, allowed to grow for four generation, and DNA was isolated immediately. So the proportion of total DNA with intermediate density is yet to be found. So <coughs> initially E. coli was grown in 15N medium, right? Then it was shifted to medium containing 14N isotope of the nitrogen, right? And in this 14N medium, it was allowed to grow for four generation, and then DNA was isolated. So they are asking that after four generation, what will be the proportion of total DNA with intermediate density? So let's see. Uh, <coughs> Uh, how this proportion will vary from generation to generation so initially the cell will have genomic dna uh, in that genomic dna the two strands will be 15n right because initially it was grown in 15n medium right so now this cell which contains the 15n 15n uh, ds dna that was transferred to 14n medium so in this media uh, so this will be used as a template to continue the replication and after one generation or generation number 1 <coughs> uh, the cell will produce 115 and 14 and another 15 and 14 why because this strand will be used as a template to uh, you know now in this 14 and media whatever nucleotides are there they are 14 in level right Because nitrogen bases of the nucleotide will be labeled by 14. So whatever new uh, daughter strand will be synthesized here in the process of, in the process of replication, it will be 14. So that's why when it will uh, <coughs> when this strand will be used as a template, then it will make 15n and 14n. Parental is 15n, daughter is 14n. Similarly, when this strand will be used as a template. Then parental was 15n and daughter will be 14n. So this is the first generation. So in the first generation, <coughs> the fraction of intermediate uh, density DNA. So what is intermediate? This is uh, heavy DNA, right? When both of the strands are 15n level, so it is heavy. Now if one strand is 15n and another strand is 14n, this DNA is called intermediate density, right? Because 14n is slightly <coughs> lighter than 15n. So This 15 and 14 is intermediate density. So now, as we are asked to find the intermediate density, so intermediate density means how many 15 and 14 combo is there. So here you can see in the first generation there are two 15 and 14 combo, right? So the fraction will be two divided by two to the power one. Fraction means number of intermediate DNA divided by number of total DNA. So here number of intermediate DNA is two and number of total DNA is also two, two to the power one. In the second generation, this strand will be used as a template to give rise of 15 and 14, and this 14 and strand will use be will be used as a template to give rise of 14 and 14, right? Similarly, this 15 and will give you 15 and 14, and this 14 and strand will give you 14 and 14. So this is the second generation. So the second generation, how many intermediate density? One. And two, right? So they are intermediate density, and these two are low density. So the fraction is two divided by total number of DNA. One, two, three, four. This is uh, so, so total number is four or two to the power two. So fraction is two by two to the power two. In the third generation, what will happen? <coughs> this strand will give you fifteen and forty nine, and this strand will give you fourteen and forty nine. Similarly, this strand. 14n will give you 14 and 14n, and this 14n will give you 14 and 14n. Similarly, uh, this you know this 15 and 14n will give you one 15 and 14n, another 14 and 14n. Similarly, this 14 and 14n will give you one 14 and 14n, and another 14 and 14n. So, <coughs> in this third generation, the number of intermediate DNA is one and two because intermediate is 15 and 14. So we can find two such intermediate DNA, right? And number of total DNA 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट सो टू टू जी बार थ्री सो फ्रैक्शन विल बी टू बाई टू टू जी बार थ्री इन द फोर्थ जेनरेशन सिमिलरली दिस विल गिव यू फिफ्टी एंड फोर्टी एट फोर्टी एंड फोर्टी एट एंड दिस विल गिव यू वन फिफ्टी एंड फोर्टी एट एंड दिस टेन विल गिव फोर्टी एंड फोर्टी एट सो इन दिस फोर्थ जेनरेशन यू विल गेट वन फिफ्टी एंड फोर्टी एट हियर एंड वन इंटरमीडिएट हियर सो ऑल्सो इन द फोर्थ जेनरेशन यू विल गेट टू इंटरमीडिएट डेंसिटी राइट so the fraction will be 2 divided by total number of dna total number of dna is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 so 2 to the power 4 so now we can follow that the total number of dna in the generation number n is equal to 2 to the power n so if the generation number n equal to 4 it will be 2 to the power 4 and total number of and the number of intermediate dna is 2 so the fraction is 2 by 2 to the power 4 So in the fourth generation, the fraction of intermediate density DNA is two by two to the power four or two by sixteen. So the proportion of total DNA with intermediate density will be two by two to the power four from here. Two by two to the power four, right? So two by two to the power four is point one three. So the proportion of total DNA with intermediate density will be zero point one 